it might be shocking to learn how little of brotherhood, unity, and teamwork in pursuit of a violent objective we've seen in The Boys Season 4, given the names of both the show and the team that inspired it. In contrast to what Billy Butcher, Carl Urban, would have you believe, the boys have spent the majority of the season dealing with internal strife, which has left them remarkably fractured as a group. They only come together for the first time in the penultimate episode, where they confront a diminished and suffocating Homelander, Antony Starr, version of the Seven, some of whose members are now completely unredeemable in the eyes of both viewers and other characters. In that episode, they stand together against the forces of Black Noir, Nathan Mitchell, and the Deep, Chase Crawford, in an effort to avert a constitutional crisis, fighting for a cause they believe in, with unwavering support from A-Train, Jesse T. Usher. The dangers of this careless lifestyle are abundantly evident to characters like Butcher and Mother's Milk, Laz Alonso, but they are ultimately goals worth sacrificing everything for. Even though it doesn't last long, it's good to see the gang back together for a group that has neglected some of its own characters. Ironically, the Seven have never actually been seven in number, despite their renown and glamour. Lamplighter, Sean Ashmore, has just retired in the series premiere, and in the next episode, Huey, Jack Quaid, kills Translucent, Alex Hassel, establishing him as a legitimate member of the boys. Ever since, the group has consisted of a constant rotation of superheroes, each one more corrupt than the last. Season two has shown us the rise and fall of Stormfront, Aya Cash, the reunion of A-Train and The Deep, the murder of Black Noir, and now the arrival of Sister Sage, Susan Hayward, and Firecracker, Valerie Curry, into the group. Then, in a matter of a few episodes, Homelander banishes Sister Sage because he cannot tolerate having an intellectual superior and because A-Train's long festering betrayal has come to light. Even the CEO of Vought, Stan Edgar, Giancarlo Esposito, has changed. He is now an imprisoned criminal who formed an unsuccessful alliance with Butcher against his own adopted daughter, Victoria Newman, Claudia Dumit. Over the seasons, the Seven's ranks have changed, but so too has their capacity to operate as a cohesive unit has decreased. Homelander accepted Stormfront as a lover in the second season, but she rejected the Nazi philosophy that Vought was ostensibly built upon. After momentarily losing both his superior status and Ryan, Cameron Crevetti, his ego takes full control, allowing him to be physically and politically unopposed for the first time. Those that were able to withstand Homelander have either died, escaped, or have become irrelevant to him as the Deep has gradually turned into nothing more than a corporate shell. To ensure her survival, Ashley Colby Minify has even suppressed her humanity, making Seven Tower a mere echo chamber for Homelander's caprices. Homelander genuinely makes an effort to locate opposing viewpoints, but Firecracker has now turned entirely to him. As a result of his obviously unstable and narcissistic nature, he later deserts Sister Sage, his greatest master planner. The show always goes to great lengths to show the price of being a hero, even though characters like Becca, Chantel Van Santen, and her son Ryan have done a great deal to refute the idea that The Boys is a nihilistic series that despises the fundamental idea of superheroes. Mother's Milk, who lost his father and grandfather in the process of pursuing justice for their family, may be the person who is most aware of this. Due to his panic episodes, M.M. is now ready to give up the fight and live his life to the fullest, even if that means giving up the pursuit of a better world. He is only persuaded to continue fighting when he realizes that Vought has tentacles all over the world and that there is no other option but to go through. Additionally, Butcher has struggled with his darkest impulses, which are represented by the specter of Kessler in his hallucinations. As a result of his terminal illness, he is even more driven to bring Homelander to an end. Huey, one of the few morally upright characters in the entire series, battles his own trauma throughout the season. And Starlight, Erin Moriarty, who has faced her own struggles, including being sexually assaulted by the Deep on her first day as a member of the Seven, must now face her past transgressions, her past